As any tip-hungry parking valet will tell you, opening and closing a car door is a thoughtful act of service. It's a small and respectful gesture, a sort of automotive welcome and goodbye, and one that the 2023 Genesis G90 does for you. Push a button and the door opens partway, to avoid hitting other cars or objects. Once inside, hit the button on the door panel and it'll swing shut as if pushed by an unseen valet. This is a signature Rolls-Royce party trick, and it's just as satisfying in the G90 as it is in a Phantom. The G90 is Genesis's large sedan flagship, and it's packed to the gunnels with features that typically belong to the ultra-luxury sphere. The impeccably crafted cabin masterfully shuffles a deck of leather, wood, metal, and micro-suede trim, and there are reclining rear seats that heat, cool, and massage. Isolation and comfort dominate the experience. Material choices look and feel expensive, and all controls move with a satisfying slickness. Whether you're wafting along at 45 miles per hour or 90 miles per hour, the interior remains serene even as the scenery blurs outside. A long 125.2-inch wheelbase yields enough legroom for NBA stars, and optional air springs keep the ride mellow and compliant, despite the thin sidewalls around the 21-inch wheels. Steering efforts are light, and while the roughly 5,000-pound G90 isn't going to be confused with a sports sedan, it moves gracefully and deftly. Some credit for the easy maneuverability goes to the available rear wheel steering that reduces the turning diameter from 40.1 to 37.1 feet. A few taps of the 12.3-inch touchscreen have the 1,700-watt, 23-speaker bang and Olufsen audio system singing in different soundscapes. If you've always wondered how Dua Lipa or Jimmy Buffett might sound in Boston's Symphony Hall, the G90 is equipped to answer those burning questions. They sound great, pause the music and start talking and you'll notice that microphones placed in the headliner pick up your voice and make it sound like you're standing in a concert hall yourself. It's a gimmick that'll put a smile on your face. The G90 is certainly big inside, at 105 cubic feet, but it's not theater big. In addition to all the content, the G90's powertrain refinement and hushed over the road behavior also remind us of cars costing twice as much. The 2022 model's 3.3 liter V6 and 5.0 liter V8 are gone, replaced by a turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 that can be had with an electrically driven supercharger. The turbo only version makes 375 horsepower and 391 pound feet of torque, with the top shelf supercharged model we sampled bumping output to 409 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque. Nearly as effortless, smooth, and quick as an electric car from a stop, the V6 pulls hard when pressed and never raises its voice, unless you turn on the artificial sound enhancements. A standard all-wheel drive system puts the power down with zero drama, and shifts from the 8-speed automatic are nearly imperceptible. In comfort mode, the transmission is slow to downshift, but once it does the surge is strong. With so much right and comfortable, the G90's few off-key notes stand out. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto require a corded connection, when wireless phone mirroring, which we consider a must-have, is found on cars costing far less. Engineers also miss the opportunity to provide customers with configurable gauge displays, and the G90 lacks the smaller GV60's face recognition system that unlocks the car when it sees you. The G90 does allow you to use your smartphone as a key, and it works without a fuss. The G90 doesn't sell in high volumes, yet Genesis still put a lot of effort into the latest version of its big sedan. Whether you're driving or riding in that huge back seat, the G90 is comfortably numb when you want that and refined in a way that reaches well beyond its near six-figure price. Perhaps some of the brand snobs in Beverly Hills or Miami won't be impressed by the Genesis badge. But if we were valets, we'd leave this one out front. <laughs>